On this day in history, June 2nd, 1875, the Catholic Church ordained her first African-American bishop, Father James Augustine Healy, the son of former slaves. This bishop did great work, uh, opening many churches, many schools, and running many charities, helped many, many people. Very godly father. 1875, think about that, that was shortly after the Civil War where the Southern Baptist denomination used the Bible to support slavery. This was the same time that the Mormon church was saying black people were cursed by God because they were less than white people. Uh, so it's amazing that the Holy Catholic Church ordained an African-American bishop at this time. But what's even more amazing is where he was ordained. It was ordained in Maine. And uh, even though the Northerners were less racist than the Southerners, they were very anti-Catholic. They were probably more anti-Catholic than anti-Black at this time. In fact, in Massachusetts at this time, it was illegal for a Catholic priest uh, to do mass and the punishment was death. If, if a Catholic priest got caught uh, conducting a mass, he'd be put to death. In fact, in Maine, where uh, Bishop Healy was ordained 20 years prior, they literally, the Protestants there, literally tarred and feathered a Catholic priest. Uh, he nearly died, but he didn't. He survived. In fact, all the 13 colonies, up until the 20th century, wouldn't even allow, not only wouldn't they allow Catholics to practice their faith, but they wouldn't allow them to own property. So, to be a Catholic in America was very difficult. Very difficult. And it's amazing how the church, under those circumstances, not only survived, but grew. To, in the northern states, is mostly Catholic today. Um... But, Bishop Healy was the first African-American uh, bishop in the church, but by no means was he the first African. So many African bishops that I couldn't even list them all. But I'm going to name a few very important ones of the church. St. Augustine from Northern Africa. St. Ignatius. Now... The Catholic Church has always been a mosaic of different colors, races, and nationalities, still today, and it always has been. So many people might say, well, they were from Northern Africa, they might have looked more Arabian, and they may have. Okay, we don't know for sure. I did see some pictures of St. Augustine where he looked black, and some where he looked more Arabian. Uh, but St. Ignatius, there's no doubt that his enemies called him the Black Dwarf because he was black and he was short. So we're pretty sure St. Athanasius was black. Uh, some other, predominant, uh, some other uh, important uh, bishops in the church history, we can go back to uh, the early popes. The 14th pope of the Catholic Church, uh, Pope Victor I, was pope from 189 to 198. So we're talking, it's at uh, second century. Pope Miltiades, 311, to 314, and Pope Gelasius, 492 to 496. So early on, we had many African bishops, popes, and leaders in the church. And it's no wonder that historians call Africa the Bible Belt of the World in ancient history. Uh, even today, the oldest churches that exist, exist in Northern Africa and the Middle East. Unfortunately, ISIS and Al-Qaeda are destroying and, and, and just committing total genocide on these Christians and these Christian churches right now. Uh, we need to pray for our brothers there. But it's just awesome to know that throughout history, the Holy Catholic Church wasn't swayed by what was popular and what wasn't popular. They were always Catholic, universal. And even today... Uh, a lot of evangelicals are lamenting the fact that Sunday is the most segregated hour. Sun Sunday afternoon 
is the most segregated time of the week in America. Because there's black churches and white churches. But that's the evangelicals. And the Catholic Church has always been universal. There's no segregation in the Catholic Church. And there never has been. And why is that? Because Jesus promised St. Peter that the gates of hell would never prevail against his church. So from the very beginning until now, we can point to the fact that the church that Jesus founded, the Holy Catholic Church, is universal. And that's another proof that this is the church that Jesus Christ founded. So be thankful for a Holy Catholic Church. And next time you're in Mass, smile at one of your African brothers and tell him you love him. And you're glad he made it to church today. Amen.